The Xenomorph is one of the most terrifying and arguably the most iconic movie monster of all time. Something like this could never exist in the real world, right? Wrong. I'm here to tell you that these aliens are based on very real creatures. The co-writer of the first alien film and the legendary Ridley Scott have been quoted as saying that parasitic wasps inspired the famously gruesome life cycle of the Xenomorph. And this is one of them. The Emerald Cockroach Wasp. First, the wasp stings a cockroach in a specific part of the roach's brain, causing it to become sluggish and almost zombified. Then the wasp bites down on its antenna and leads it to a burrow where it lays an egg at the roach's feet. Once the egg hatches, the wasp larvae feeds on and then burrows inside of the roach. After feeding on its innards for a few days, the larvae forms a cocoon inside the roach, and finally a full-grown wasp bursts forth from the roach's chest. Well, it doesn't really have a chest, but you see where I'm going with this. I know this is all sounding kind of horrifying. Surely this wasp is a one-off in nature, right? Wrong. Some estimates indicate that most animals on Earth are in fact parasites. It turns out that an alien style life cycle, like you can see in Alien Earth on Tuesdays on FX and streaming on Hulu, isn't so alien. Just be glad that you're not a cockroach.